is a quick example of the auto hotkey script I wrote to download a sample from LexisNexis. So I've, I've put in the filter, I've already gotten to the point where I've, I've filtered on companies that are working in the semiconductor industry based on their NAIC code. And um, as you can see here, there's 65,000 contacts that are in LexisNexis. And I can download a thousand at a time, so I'd have to click download, hit next, wait for it to load, click download. Um, so I wrote a program, this is part of it here, I have the, uh, the rest of it, the loop part elsewhere. Uh, but here, I'm telling it where do I put it, um, what folder do I want to put them in, in the semiconductor folder. It's going to loop how many times, so I can come back to here and say, okay, so 66. So my loop will run 66 times, which is fine. Um, the var, x, and y are telling it where to do the clicking and what rows, and you'll, that'll make more sense here in a minute. And then it says go sub this Lexus subroutine, which I've written elsewhere. So if I, um, which triggers right here, if I hit control L, what's going to happen? So I'm going to let go of the mouse here and just hit the uh, keyboard. If I hit control L, it comes over to Lexus Nexus, hits the download, and then comes over here and clicks the next button. And then it waits, uh, uh, I forget how many seconds I put in there, maybe it's 20 seconds or so, until it goes to the next page, and um, it'll load the next page, and then you'll see my mouse here in, hopefully pretty soon, all right, it's loading, now you see on the left, the download selected items is still gray, and in a couple seconds it'll turn red, which was, oh, and see there's actually, so the timing was a little bit too close, for some reason it loaded too fast, which is fine, right, I mean, uh, um, this wouldn't have worked right for that one, but let's go ahead here and we'll do one more um, so we can just show you how it works. And that's that's one of those, I haven't used this in a while, so uh, it's a little off on the timing, just a little bit too fast. And that I don't, that was a very slow, as you can see how much faster this one loaded. I'm, I'm not sure why that first one loaded so slow. So we'll go, it's going to download here to download selected items. Jump over there. Any second. There it goes. And then comes over, and, and actually what I did here, because as these numbers get higher, this right button moves over in time. So what it does is it goes click, 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 click. And since there's nothing else around this, it doesn't matter. Um, and now what I want to show you, so here are the download folder. This is where Firefox has downloaded them, and it downloads them as um, database objects, which are XML files. So what I also have in my subroutine is after it downloads, so it's going to the next one here, here we go. Um, it downloads it, it, um, it then moves them, after it downloads it, it, it takes the database object, moves it over to this file, and converts it to an Excel file. So it's, that's all done in that step, um, so I don't have to worry about that. And what I'm going to do also here, I'm going to go ahead and stop my loop. So basically that would go through um, 66 times, right, and I'd have 66 files there. Then I'd have to merge 66 Excel files. Well, I wrote a macro. Um, I don't remember the key combination, which I, it popped up in the other window. So I tell it what folder I want to look at, so I'm in the semiconductor folder, this SC folder. I'm going to say, okay, what this does, it's going to look in this folder, it creates um, an Excel bat file, I'm sorry, not Excel bat, it's a Visual Basic batch file, and um, converts the Excel files to CSV files, so in a second here you'll see CSV files popping up for those three files, and then it takes all the CSV files and merges them together, which is for SPSS what I need to have to, for the easiest way to merge them all together. Um, so you can see it, it created a new CSV folder, merged them all together, and then created them as this one CSV file here, which um, I know it doesn't seem much different than those, but it, because it's CSV, it takes up less space. So it actually has, uh, actually, let's see if we can open it here. And we'll move it to this monitor. Um, this should have about 3,000 cases in it. So there you go. And that's, uh, that's a macro I wrote using Auto Hotkey. It's very easy to do and to automate. Um, the same can be done for uploading and doing this other stuff. Thanks.